Jay Leno, Julia Louis-Dreyfus. E.T. caught up with two of the TV Academy Hall of Fame inductees last night. We showed the stars their first E.T. interview and got their reactions. Hi, I'm Rob Marciano with E.T. Now. I could not have done it without E.T. Well, we oh, actually have just been the cornerstone of my career. Sure, Jay. We'll take all the credit. In fact, here's Jay getting his first taste of success on E.T. ten years before he took over The Tonight Show from Johnny Carson. I used to get my hands dirty for a living. When you dig holes and work in cars, this is real easy. If I'd done something differently, I might be in prison or something. So, obviously, I made the right choice because I'm here. Here is the TV Academy Hall of Fame, where he, TV producer David E. Kelly, and Julia Louis-Dreyfus were inducted. I think they made a mistake. <laughs> Not sure I should be here. In our first interview with Julia, we asked her when she'd start having kids. This was two years before Seinfeld made her a star. Whenever Entertainment Tonight tells me to have a child, then I will have the child. Oh my God, oh I can't look at that anymore. We don't remember giving her the go-ahead, but Julia brought her son, Henry, who's now 21. In 1989, David hadn't yet met his future wife, Michelle Pfeiffer, but the creator of Ally McBeal and CBS's The Crazy Ones did know how to make good TV. Say, there's no real recipe. If there were, then everyone would be turning out hit shows. Well, I didn't have the short soundbite thing down, did I? They are all very deserving for sure. Make sure to tune in to ET on TV tonight to see more of today's biggest news. But in the meantime, let's chat on Twitter. I'm at Rob Marciano. And tell me which star's first ET interview you'd like to see. I'm Rob Marciano for ET Now. <laughs>